So friends, today we will learn about the imperfect v-carving on the ATCAM 2017 for the 3-axis CNC router. So first thing we will did is to have some good images from the net like this kind you can use or uh, like this one. So we'll try it on this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. First thing is to open the image that we want to do. I am selecting this dragon. Maybe you are seeing it or not. You can see it. Okay. So first thing, first time you no need to set, set the size, model size. Then the, you have to do the bitmap to vector this is the bitmap to vector you can read the ok reduce colors from 32 to 2 then create vectors in this also we know firstly uh, reduce the contrast you can see the image perfectly ok now you can see image control A to select all ok now you can see if I choosing the uh, outer rectangle it is selecting all because see this is not joined so what we will do we will join it by smooth curve here you select the grade polyline in this grade line you just open this draw smooth polyline should be on just click here here and here so it is joined then say escape now this is the trim you can use the trim See, always when we use the trim, auto join, auto join should be always be on. So, this is deleted and joined also. So, you can see now it is uh, the rectangle after rectangle is deleted. Now, you can see here is a red dot indicating that it is not joined. So, we need to join it. So, just select this, then go in the vector, join. If not join, you have to close it a smooth curve. You can see the smooth curve is joined the red and green point. Indication of join the line is joined or not is the only green point will be seen. So we need to cut this. Always auto join on. Cut it. Okay, now it is perfect. So you can see how it the zoom level. Now the okay. Now control A to select all and just say group vector and then cut it. Okay. Then select a new size. I am selecting here uh, the standard weight size of the CNC router that is 4 feet by 8 feet. That is the uh, general tour size in mm. Okay. So always set the lower left corner as the origin. We will see on the further videos, we will see the operating. In that operating, we will see how the origin is left corner is set and how the operating is done. So, here we go. So, we need to test the, okay. You can see here the dragon. Okay, we have some customers requirement here also. So here the customer's need is same as that of in perfect recovery. So he is he want the uh, the you can say you can read it. The customer's need is the uh, finish date that is R R R. I am considering R because it is the required value of the customer. So R should be always be less than nine or equal to nine. And the, we can see. Uh, we have to compare this value with the obtained maximum depth by selecting uh, the after selecting the VB tool. So here it is. Here all deciding factor is maximum depth. I am considering that refresh value after selecting the VB carving as M. So we will compare M and R and decide how to do it. So imperfect carving is occurs only when we have the only one tool then it will be imperfect depending upon C now you can see here is the width is very large 
So the depth in here in imperfect carving, in every imperfect carving, we have to do the machining with the two tools. First tool is the carving tool, and the second tool will be the end mill for roughening. So here you cannot see. I think uh, you cannot. You will not be see the perfect line or single line as that of in the perfect. If you watch my previous video, you will see it. So okay, firstly press T to transform. Okay, the nodes will occur, and you can set the size as per the customer's need. Uh, by placing pressing Alt, you can increase the size centrally if you want to do the vector model at the center fn f9 or you can go in the vector and vector align and centering model okay so if you want to move it perfectly vertical then you have to choose alt and perfectly vertical it will go okay so now okay <coughs> now we will go into the tool path to the tool path in that vivid carving okay so here is the vivid carving menu so you can see here our dragon uh, here it is this is the customer want size okay i have only one tool is the condition on also so i have only one tool i'm considering one tool i have only so i'm this i have a, i'm having this one so i'm selecting this then say refresh see the maximum death value and what is the customer's need is this only should be less than nine only so no problem whatever the value it is i don't care so we have to just input what is the maximum value that customers want that is less than or equal to nine so i am inputting here as nine so uh, after inputting here nine we have to choose the roughening tool also since it is the imperfect because we cannot satisfy the maximum depth of 80.117 by any of the tool we have because the width is too much large in some cases so we have to do the imperfect roughening. may normally it is not called as imperfect it is also perfect but uh, here we use two tools we cannot see the exact one line as that of in the perfect so we call it as a imperfect so we can choose the any kind of these tools we want we can choose but i'm i'm taking a condition that i'm having only one tool we, you can also choose the other tools but by choosing any other tools then also you will not get the this much thickness see let us see the maximum tool uh, how much i can select is this see now i refreshed the same value you will get so now if i choose the different one like the, the smallest one i choose then you can see the maximum depth is increased further so it is better to choose the one which we have so i am choosing this considering this as a standard so i am limiting this limiting this to not go beyond the maximum depth that is as per my customers Need. This is the customer's need that is less than or equal to 9. So now we will choose the roughening tool. Roughening tool is been okay. Roughening tool always be end mill. Roughening tool always be end mill. So roughening tool end mill 6 or 3. It depends upon the uh, you can see here this uh, this distance. You can okay, wait. Okay, you can see this. If the 6mm tool go up to this only, but 3mm can go further, so it is it will be better to choose 3mm. Okay, it depends upon the size and the complex sharpness of the vector model. So will I cho I'm choosing here the uh, end mill 6mm as the size is too much, so it is available if there is some part left. So we can also see if there is other part is left. I can show you and also suggest. Now here I can also need to give the step down as same as that of limiting value. That is nine. I have to input here also nine mm. So I have input it step down as nine mm. So now say calculate now. Now you can see the vectors generated. I can show you. So you can see here the outermost is the 
tool path of the vbit okay and the inner one is the roughening area it is like a area clearance inside with the vbit outside so we will now simulate it okay so here we will simulate it tool path simulation simulate all tool path you can say high details and simulate tool path so you can see how the dragon will look like after the machining you can see here there is only surface you here you cannot see the single line okay see here i i told you the 6mm and 3mm tools if the sharpness is more now you can choose the 3mm tool also okay just in the roughening tool go in the roughening tool deselect the tool and again select the 3mm just select it and in the 3mm also you need to change the step down as 9 as per the customer's requirement so now say calculate now and again we need to simulate it you can see the area clearance tool path generated by the 3mm now you can see here also going further the 3mm is going okay so now we will simulate it again so tool path simulation simulate all tool path you can see the uh, newer design it will be better than the previous one so uh, you can see here maximum material is removed by the 3mm so here here how it goes if you want to do the change how it will be look in the different material you can go in the simulation here you can select the material like uh, you can choose the medium oak or vertical say apply say apply you can see the material also okay so here how the v carving which is imperfect but uh, not actually but it is different than the perfect so we consider it as imperfect okay so we can save the tool path as in tool path save tool path as we can give the tool path name okay here there will be a two two tool path will be generated one for roughening one second for finishing always do the roughening first and the second time you do finishing will be the better option so you can give the name to the file as per your okay you can give directly to the size only because the name will be automatically given to the generated g code just say save and the two two toolpath files will be generated like this and the second one is here these two toolpath okay this for this two toolpath first operation of this the roughening is this okay this is the roughening end wheel this is the roughening after roughening we need to change the tool and go to the origin back and operate this one this is the finishing one so here we go so today we will learn about so today we learn about the vbit carving with a single tool also depends on size how the parameter changes so i hope you like the video also always remember the clamping distance to avoid the accidents of colliding the tool with clamp so i hope you like the video please subscribe like and comment for any query or inquiry you can also mail me on the alvincnc.avi.gmail.com thank you so much have a good day